adding images to your QuickBase records can make a huge difference. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. In this video, I'll walk you through three different ways to use the rich text formula field to display images on reports or forms. Before we dive into adding images to a QuickBase, I wanted to quickly show you an example of where I use images on my reports and forms attached to each record. This is my content management QuickBase, also known as the QuickBase Junkie Buzz, where I log my different videos, posts, and articles. So here you can see where I've uploaded an image of the thumbnail that I use for my different videos. Let's jump into one of these records. You can see that the same thumbnail will appear on the record itself. Now let's get into the details of how we make this happen. We'll do that in this other QuickBase. While this QuickBase might be called the HR employee tracking QuickBase, you can imagine it might be sales leads or any other type of QuickBase that we want to add images to. The first type of image we'll add is an example where we want one image to display on every record in this table. We'll start by creating a new table in order to house our image. Now you don't have to create a new table you might already have an existing table of documents or files that you manage, and you could use that as well. What I recommend is that the file is stored in QuickBase, and that way you can manage it. However, the image itself will need to be accessible to anyone who might view it. So that means that all roles in the QuickBase will need to have at least view privileges. Even if they don't actually see the table, they will need to have view privileges to the file itself. Let's go ahead and upload our first image. With my file attachment field here, I can simply drag my file and drop it onto that choose file button to upload my new file. With my file added, I'm going to right click on it and copy the link address. You may also be able to view the address in the lower left hand corner. This is what we're going to need in order to reference this on each of our records. I'll head back to my employee table and open a record. Let's say I want this icon to show at the very beginning of the fields. So I'm going to add a field before this one. And this will be our rich text formula field. I can go in and edit that. Now here's where the magic happens. In our rich text formula field, we can use HTML code in order to reference that image. I'll start with a quotation and then what's called an image tag. IMG followed by a space and we need the source for the image or SRC. That'll be followed by the equal sign and then a single quotation. This is very important. We want a single quotation and then we'll include that URL that we copied from our image. So I'll paste that in and with another single quotation and now an important part. I want to include the width of the image so that way it's not too big. So I'll include the width and set that equal to another single quotation and then the number of pixels that I want it to be. So in this case, I'm going to choose 30 pixels and then close out that image tag with the right angle bracket. I'll click save and now you see I've got my new icon located on the record. If I go to another record, it also has the icon. Let's head back to our report. Here you'll see the new icon is now located on every single record in this report because I added it to a field on this table. Now what if though we want a different icon depending on what department the individual is in? Well, that's gonna be a little bit different. In order to do that, we're gonna need another field that helps us determine which icon to choose for our formula. So let's add another field. I'm gonna call this department icon and I'll actually make this a multiple choice field. You could make this a URL field or just a text box field. That'll work just fine. For this field, I'm going to use the URLs from a resource that QuickBase provides of icons. It has, I think, hundreds of icons. I'll include the link below, and so that way you can access them as well. 
I'll just need one more field in order to actually display the icon. And this will be our rich text formula field. Let's update that field. Similar to before, we'll start with a quotation and the beginning of our image tag. We'll include the source and then set that equal to single quotation, but now we need to reference the URL from the multiple choice field. So I'm gonna append this now to our department icon field. And then I can continue my image tag, appending that to the single quotation that ended the URL, followed by the width, and set that equal to, let's make this one a little bit bigger. I have a single quotation, the number of pixels, and another single quotation. And then we want to end the image tag. I'll click Save, let's exit. Let's jump into one of these records. We'll rearrange the form a bit just so that way those fields are where I would want them to be. All right, now we can choose the URL for the icon. In this case, it's in the admin offices, so I'm gonna use the filing cabinet icon. And there you can see the filing cabinet icon displays. I can choose another from this list or if I made this into a URL or text field, I could simply paste in the URL for my icon to display. Go ahead and save and close. That one added, I'm gonna add it to my main report here. And I'll quickly update the report. All right, now we've got everything updated where we have a single icon across all records, a different icon across groups of records. Now we wanna add a individual icon to an individual record. So this might be the case where you wanna upload an employee photo, where each employee would have a different photo. So let's jump into another record. And now we'll need to add a attachment field to upload the employee's photo to their individual record. And then we'll need the rich text formula field to display the photo. Go ahead and edit this record to first attach a photo. Right. Here's a file. Go ahead and save that. And I can edit my rich text formula field. All right, this is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna start first by defining a variable. It's VAR, it's gonna be a text variable, and it's gonna be our URL. I'm gonna set this equal to the URL for the file attachment field on our record. And this way, it will always reference the URL for that particular record's image. And since these two fields happen to be on the very same record and on the very same table, this makes it very easy for us. We can use a set of references that QuickBase allows us to use. So the first is the URL root, and this captures the https colon forward slash forward slash likely the name of your company dot quickbase.com. So it captures that first part, and then we're gonna append this to a little bit of text with up forward slash. Now this makes sure that we are going into the attachments field. And then we will append this to our database ID for DB ID. Another reference that will pull the database ID for the particular table that you are on. And then we will append that to a bit of text, a slash, R, another append with an ampersand, and now we wanna use our record ID. The record ID here will make sure that we are getting the information from the current record, right? Append that one more time to a string of text, start with the forward slash, and now we're gonna use the letter E followed by the field ID 
where our file attachment was for the photo. So that field that I just created, it happened to be field ID number 24, and then we'll have another slash, a V for version, and we're gonna go zero, and this way we'll always pull the latest version. And that's all we need for our URL string. I'll use a semicolon to close out that variable. And now we can write our formula as we have before, starting with the image tag, followed by our source, setting that equal to single quotation, append that to our URL. In this case, we wanna call our variable. So it'll be dollar sign URL, since that's what we named the variable above. Append that to the end of our image tag, which is another single quote. And now we wanna include that with again, equals single quote, now, since we do have other images on the same line, the line's gonna expand to at least the size of those other images. So we could go larger than 48 or stick with the 48. I think I'm gonna stick with 48 pixels and then close out that image tag. Click save and we've got a problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that might be. Looks like I'm missing a slash just here before the A. Otherwise it looks good, so I'm gonna click save. That was it. Now I have the photo of Mia loading onto our record. Now I'll show you why that width is so important. Real quickly, I'll jump back in here and I'll remove this width portion. When we don't define the width, it'll revert to the original image size. So in this case, the image doesn't even quite fit on the form, it's so large. So including either the width or the height, you can set either of them just after your URL is really important. You can also consider compressing the size of these attachments if they are very large or resizing the images themselves before you upload them in order to save some space within the attachments in your QuickBase. Go ahead and change that back. Let's look at our main report. You notice we might have an issue here. So because I have not uploaded photos for all of these other employees, the image link is showing broken. That's because it's trying to look for that attachment when there isn't one. So I have a fix for that as well. Let's go back into the field. And to account for the possibility of a attachment not yet being uploaded, I'm gonna add an if statement to check. So we'll say if, and we wanna choose our photo, if our employee photo attachment field is equal to blank or double quotations, then show blank or double quotations. Otherwise, show the image. Close out that formula. I'll click save. And now for those employees that do not have a photo, we won't see that broken image link. I'm gonna quickly upload a few more photos and we can see what our final product looks like. Okay, now we can see that we have uploaded our three different types of images. A single image for every record, groups of records with a shared image, and then an individual image per record. You also see that for either the employee photo or the department icon, those images are all the same width. You can choose either the height or width and the size will adjust accordingly based on the ratio between those two measurements. There is one more way to display images and that's one that is dynamic based on a selection in a dropdown. So somewhat similar to what we did here with the department icon, but for things like status, where you might wanna show red, yellow, green, or perhaps another type of icon based on a selection in a dropdown. To do that, I recommend you head over to my video on use icons to draw, focus, and drive action. I'll include the link below. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on adding images to your quick bases to one of the questions I get asked most often. I'd love to hear how it worked out for you in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, please like this video 
And to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.